The Mariana Trench, a colossal tear in the Earth's crust, is the deepest and most mysterious region of our planet's oceans, plunging nearly 11,000 meters below the surface. Its depth is so immense that Mount Everest could easily fit inside it. In fact, if you were suddenly transported there, you wouldn't even have time to realize where you were before the crushing pressure ended your life. At its deepest point, the pressure reaches about 1,100 kilograms per square centimeter, more than a thousand times the pressure at sea level. No sunlight penetrates these depths, leaving the trench in perpetual darkness, resembling an alien world. Yet despite these extreme conditions, life does exist here, though it looks very different from the creatures we know. Some fish have no eyes or faces, strange bacteria colonies thrive, and bizarre-looking species roam the depths. Beyond these, the trench also holds some of Earth's most unexplained phenomena. Located on the floor of the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench has a shape resembling a crescent. Such trenches form when tectonic plates collide. About 170 million years ago, the Pacific Plate collided with the Mariana Plate, forcing the Pacific Plate beneath the other. This immense geological event gave birth to the trench, it stretches about 2,550 kilometers long, 69 kilometers wide, and nearly 11 kilometers deep. The first people to discover it were scientists aboard the ship HMS Challenger. Between 1872 and 1876, the Challenger expedition charted many aspects of the world's oceans and laid the foundation for modern oceanography. During their exploration, they also discovered this abyss, which would later be named the Mariana Trench. However, their attempts to measure its true depth failed, as their ropes extended only 8 kilometers, not nearly long enough to reach the bottom. At the time, no one even imagined such a depth existed. 85 years later, Swiss scientist Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh attempted a daring descent into the trench aboard the Bathyscaphe Trieste. This small submersible had a reinforced spherical chamber barely large enough for two people equipped with a tiny window to observe the unknown. To illuminate the pitch black abyss, powerful pressure resistant lights were attached. As they descended, the vessel shuddered around 9,000 meters deep. The outer glass of a window had cracked under the crushing force. Despite the danger, they pressed on, finally reaching the bottom after nearly five hours. They could only remain there for 20 minutes due to the damaged window. But even in this short time, they made a discovery that shocked the scientific community. There was life. They reported seeing what they believed to be a flatfish-like creature. Although the stirred-up sediment prevented them from taking clear photos, the mere sight of life in such an inhospitable place was groundbreaking. After this expedition, no man dives were attempted for decades. But in the 1990s, interest rekindled and unmanned submersibles were deployed to explore the trench further. In 1995, the Japanese Kaiko probe descended to 10,911 meters, gathering samples and observing life forms. It discovered colonies of bacteria that thrived under the immense pressure, proving that life could exist in conditions once thought impossible. In 1998, Kaiko encountered a much more complex creature, a giant amphipod named Hirondelia gigas. Unlike similar crustaceans, which should not survive at such depths because their calcium carbonate shells dissolve under extreme pressure, these amphipods had developed a unique adaptation. Their exoskeletons contained aluminum. By extracting aluminum ions from the sediment and combining them with sugars from decaying plants that drifted down from the surface, they built a natural armor against the crushing environment. These creatures even possessed enzymes capable of digesting wood acting as cleaners of the deep sea ecosystem. But here in Delia Gigas is not the only unusual resident of the trench. Many bizarre species have been found, such as dragonfish that produce their own light to attract prey, hatchet fish with enormous eyes to catch faint glimmers in the dark, and countless nearly transparent creatures adapted to this alien world. The most common are sea cucumbers, which feed on organic matter drifting down from above. Some scientists even suggest that what Picard and Walsh saw in 1960 may not have been a fish at all, but a sea cucumber, since vertebrate skeletons would likely collapse under such pressure. Despite popular myths, enormous predators such as the megalodon shark could never survive here. 
The environment offers neither the necessary prey nor conditions for such a giant creature. If a megalodon were somehow transported into the trench, it would be crushed beyond recognition. Claims of such creatures living here are pure fiction. However, the trench is not devoid of predators. In 2014, scientists discovered the snailfish, growing up to 28 centimeters long, the largest known predator living at these depths, between 8,000 and 6,000 meters. Other odd life forms include single-celled organisms called Xenophyophores, which can grow up to 20 centimeters across. Some, like Ascomanella, anchor themselves to rocks and filter nutrients from the surrounding water. All of these discoveries demonstrate that life is astonishingly resilient, capable of thriving even in the cold, dark, and crushing depths of the Mariana Trench. In 2012, famed filmmaker James Cameron descended solo in his specially designed submersible, Deep Sea Challenger. He reached a depth of 10,898 meters and spent three hours exploring, collecting soil, water, and biological samples, and capturing stunning footage of the trench floor teeming with life. Since then, research has continued, uncovering many more unknown species. Today, the trench is no longer solely the domain of scientists. Tourism has even begun.